Hi guys, this is just a really quick video just to pass on a little tip that I found out by accident. I found it out the hard way. So we say you've done a photo shoot like what I have here. This was a cycle race and you've come home and you have 1,000, 2,000 images. Uh, you go through them, you spend hours editing them and all that. You whittle them down to the final images for the client and you deliver the client uh, the, the final uh, shoot. To the client I do this via Dropbox uh, after about 30 days the Dropbox uh, link expires and uh, after another 30 or 60 days I uh, delete that Dropbox folder to save space uh, on my account uh, but it doesn't matter because I know that in my Lightroom catalog I have all the final shoot all the final edits right here you can see I have them all there and that's all good so I can forget about them uh, what normally happens then is that I, every uh, few weeks, I just drag and drop uh, these folders of uh, completed photo shoots from my internal iMac hard drive onto an external iMac, uh, uh, an external drive that's here. So the disappear of my internal uh, iMac drive, that saves space and makes my Mac run a bit quicker. But that's fine because I know I have all those uh, completed photo shoots on this external hard drive which is also backed up to another external hard drive so I have two copies of and that's all good or so I think except when I go to look at my external hard drive and here they are here so this photograph here is the same as this one here now look there's a huge difference where's all my edits gone this is the original raw file I've lost all my edits I have uh, you know three or four hundred photographs in this uh, in this folder here on the external hard drive and I've lost all my edits I don't have them anymore because I've already removed them from the iMac drive and all that uh, so I've potentially lost hours and hours if not weeks days weeks of uh, work of editing work so what you need to do but I know that I haven't I know that despite what these files look like here I know that the edits are still there and I'll prove that to you in a minute but what you need to do is you need to go up to Lightroom and catalog settings and in the catalog settings hit the metadata metadata tab and along here automatically write changes into XMP by default that is unticked you need to tick that make sure you tick that and close out of it because what Lightroom does is that when you edit your files it saves your edits you know your exposure compensation your color work your sharpening and all that it saves that I think into the Lightroom catalog file and the problem with that is that sometimes uh, rarely but your Lightroom uh, catalog can get corrupted or something that can happen it can get damaged uh, and you know you have to make a new file and all that now if your Lightroom catalog does get damaged obviously all your photographs don't they're still on wherever you have stored them it just means that the edits are gone but by ticking that box that I asked you to take, it, it embeds all your edits inside the original file here. If it's a DNG or if you did not convert it to a DNG, it will save all your edits in another text file alongside that called an XMP file. So that means that you will not lose the edits. And what it looks like, I may have lost edits there. If I choose open with Adobe Photoshop and I'm opening this from an external hard drive, you can see straight away that it opens it in Adobe Camera Raw there. It'll take a minute just to sharpen up because it's a large file. And you can see that there, hey ho, all my edits are still there. So despite what the file looks like there, that's the original file. And that's, that is the original file, the original DNG file. When I bring it back into Lightroom, Photoshop or Adobe Camera Raw, it comes in with all the edits there. I can open that image and it will be perfect. Uh, so that is just a quick tip make sure you do this Lightroom catalog settings and make sure in the metadata tab that automatically write changes into XMP as long as that is ticked all of your edits will be saved and should anything really bad happen to your Lightroom catalog all your edits will be there and you could save yourself a whole heap of work thanks for watching and see you next time goodbye